Today I am taking on the truly beautiful and award-winning Westcliffs Golf Links. Just an hour outside of Lisbon, this 6,970 yard par 72 golf course is going to be one of the toughest tests I face in some of the toughest conditions I've ever played in. How will I get on in episode nine of In The Red? So we got down to our first tee, which is actually the 10th. They've switched it round some days. They alternate between one and 10 as a starting tee. Today's are as 10. Little bit about the golf course before we get out here. Like I say, just over 7,000 yards. Very windy. Off the tee, it's quite intimidating, but the fairways are actually a little bit generous. And you see that 58% of players actually find the fairway with the shot scope stats. 33% hit the greens. Now, the average score around here is 86.8 .8 for the shot scope users and it's 71 for the best round. So if I can break that today, we're happy. The hardest hole being the seventh and the easiest hole being the 16th and the longest drive is 310. If we can get one downwind today, I reckon we could beat that. For me, like I say, try and beat that 71 would be ideal. In terms of what happened at Centurion last time, shot five over, had a double early on it felt a little bit maybe a little bit better than that putting wasn't quite there um but i'd had my lesson with dad and i felt like the swing was better i hit some good shots it was cold it was wet it was playing long so i don't think it was too bad of a score i don't think i was that far away if i swing like i did and i played a bit of social golf in between this and then so hopefully if i can just keep I think keep it in play off the tee today is the main thing. Just get it into the fairway, nothing spectacular. Just make sure I'm in play off the tee. Then I should have a pretty good chance of actually building a good score. So here we go. We've got the 10th tee, it's a par four, it's 350. There is a bunker down there at 256 that I've seen on my GPS. So I'm just gonna poke a little driver because we are into the wind um, and just try and find the fairway from here. So hole 10, let's go. Tell you what, if I hit every shot like that, just that chippy little cutty driver, carried all of 210 into the wind, but just down the fairway, I'm happy with that one. Fairway found, that was center of center. 118, that wind, if I just throw stuff it straight into, I think the, the second big challenge, once you find the fairway, it's controlling that ball flight into the green, 118, normally a 54. I'm probably gonna hit like a little knock down nine here because obviously the ocean is right there and that wind is just battering us in the face. So that's playing the best part, probably 140 here now. So let's err on the side of caution, I think, with these, uh, with these approach shots. Gotta have the brain switched on. It's a test of not only confidence, but also mental strength today. Please go, please go. Well, I hit that really well and I'm 20 short. I could have probably hit a little seven iron there. Right, I've got to switch this mentality up quick. I think I've severely underestimated the win there. Right, just shy. I really underestimated the wind and now I've got, the good news is I'm pitching straight back into the wind. I've got to get it up over this slope and I think it'll kill pretty quickly this one. So... Come back, come on. Well, just landed it. Maybe three or four feet more than I wanted, but I was right about it stopping quick. Gives us a chance, gives us a chance. Downhill, downwind though, barely need to touch this thing. Pushed it, pushed it, Matthew. Well, just a poor putt there. I did everything well, bar that nine iron, obviously. Underestimated how strong that wind was. So, something to bear in mind, but quite happy with a few opening swings here in Portugal. At least it's not muddy and raining. Right, on to the next. Our second is a par four. 370 yards into off the left sort of dog legs right to left this one a tight approach but there's a bunker up at around about 370 
If we can just uh, navigate the fairway again, I think we'll be okay. Oh, pulled it. Get down. It's pitched on the top of that trap. I don't know if it's gone in it. Hopefully, we get a lie. Right, we've got 175 to the flag. I've actually stayed on top of the scrubland there. Um, the lie's okay. I think I'm gonna have to rely on an up and down here because I can get a five iron to it, but whether I can get it back there to the green, I don't know, because it is that windy and not the ideal lie, but we shall see. Should just actually be left edge of the green, that. Came out nice. Whether it's got there, just got a bit high, so probably not. Well, a little bit further left than I thought. Just literally in the, uh, the rough over there, and I've got quite, it's about 30 yard pitch. Just gotta land it round here, I would say. That pitch actually sliced. It started about three or four yards left of the flag and it's pitched three or four yards right of the flag. That's how strong the wind is. It's even affecting little pitch shots, but I will take that because that gives me a good chance of a little par. Crikey, it's had windy out here. Stay. I thought that was good then. It just dove on me a little bit more. Just dove on me, but to be fair, it would have been one hell of a par, but Okay, Sarah, just need to settle down. This wind is, I think this is the windiest I've ever played in. I've not played much stronger winds than this, so it's gonna be a test today. Right, the third hole for us today is a par three. One, five, five yards it's playing, and it's about 50 miles per hour down the wind, so that's playing about 100 yards. I'm gonna hit a 50 degree, only thing with this, when you're playing into this much wind, it's whether you can actually get it up and it sort of forces it down. So there is a bunker short of the green. So I'm just gonna go a little bit left of the uh, flag. So if it doesn't get up, I'm not caught in there. Be a good number. Well. We're on the green, we've got a chance of birdie. It's an uphill. I'm guessing it's gonna be into the wind given how windy it is. Let's get down there. Right, we found the green. Can you, can you hear me out there? Very, very windy up here, but what a view. I think this is one of the prettiest golf courses that I've played already. Just three holes in and I'm stunned by how beautiful this place is. Let's see if we can do a bit of just Sit, 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 sit. God, I thought that was good. Wind's just got it. Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. I thought that first putt was, I thought the first putt was decent, but the wind just took it and off we went. This is the windiest I've ever played in. And I think we're going for a bloodbath today because it's hard. It is hard. So a bit of redemption now for us. We've got a par five up the hill. Um, it's 384 yards to the bunker that we see up the right. You want to leave your drive up the right here. Can give you a, um, a shot at the green in two. So not the longest of par fives, but um, if we can get it in the fairway, hopefully get up in two and it is straight down the wind. So just need to get that good drive away here.
Well, it's at that trap, just a bit right of it. I've seen it bouncing in the fairway. I don't know if it's gone through it. Hard to tell, but it had a couple of bounces, so should be okay. Just in the semi rough. 180 yards it's actually playing 190 with the elevation the wind down and off the left so it's almost I've got to go into it and then it's going to push it down so that 180 190 with the slope so that would normally be maybe six iron I'm not sure whether it's gonna it's sort of it's helping but it's not it's a weird one it is if I get it up it will float on I'm gonna hit seven iron just to be safe don't want to get there are a couple of bunkers up at the front but even if I can get this going in fact no I'm gonna go six I'm gonna go six play it as its normal yardage there we go and hopefully if it does go long I've gone over the bunkers and I'm just chipping back into the wind so it's not the worst miss then Get right of that trap, get right of it, didn't catch it. Oh, should have hit seven, that's pitched on the green. Over the trap. Lucky I didn't nut that. We've just rolled to the back of the green there, pitched literally in the fringe. I think seven would have been a good club if I would have got it, but case hurrah. Luckily though, chipping back into the wind. Look at that for a view though. That is absolutely stunning. What a beautiful golf course. Guys, I hope you're appreciating the views. Hit the little like button if you are, are loving that view. That is, that's one of the best scenes I've seen on a golf course, I think, that. But anyway, let's uh, see if we can get down in three here for at least a par. Do you know what? The fringes are nice. I'm going to put this just because if I don't quite get it, it might stall in this wind as well. If I can just get it up and rolling, at least I've got a bit of a chance controlling it. It's going to go up over and it goes up and then down basically all about judging the wind here down the slope now get going get going had a great line just that wind no just everyone just going by ah well it's the first par of the day it's just hard judging pace and how much the wind is going to affect it that put even then just stalled in the wind i thought when i hit it it was three or four feet by but just literally dribbles by the whole case there are onto the next which is by all accounts a bit of a Bit of a rascal of a tee shot. So the 14th that we're going on to, this is the hole here. When we get on the tee, you're not gonna see the hole because of the scrub land that you face, but that's what we're hitting down into. So it's about picking a line and just committing to it. And actually knowing that, as we see here, there's actually a good size of fairway there to be hit. Our fifth hole, 14, it actually is on the, on the card. 385 yards par four straight down and as I said earlier now we can't see the fairway we can see the green and the mound in the distance you've got a nice stick to aim over the bunker that is down on the left that's 380 uh, sorry 280 to get to to there but we're straight back into the wind now so I think at that with a little cut is a good spot to be just pushed it down the right but there is a load of fairway there. See the tiny bounce over the shrub. Right, onwards. Right, just found the semi, I would call it. I think it sort of trundled down here. I've got 172 to the flag. It's only playing 160, but that wind is battering. The bunker that's 280 is about 40 yards down there. Um, we are going downhill quite a lot. So I've got five iron out thinking this is my, my 200 club, so if I can get this just middle of the green, I'm happy with that. Make another par, run away. Look at the wind hit that, oh my. 
I've just caught the front edge. There was a point there where I've hit that and I thought, that spot on, it's gonna get there. It's got to the peak of its flight and the wind has just battered that. Oh, this is a serious test of golf. <laughs> We've got a bit of an elephant under this green, it seems. Anyone who can get close to it. Oh my, what in the world? If I get this put within 10 foot, I think that is world class. I've got to go over and let it... It's literally... It's got to come up here. Then it's got to go around. If I don't get enough pace, it's going into that bowl down there. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Could we not play to one of these old holes here? I've hit it decent to those. Get up, get up. Oh, no. That's a bit foolish, that. I would have been better off getting a lob wedge and throwing that over the slope there. Well, that's the best uh, three pots I've ever had. Blacker's gonna have me off them. Just to give you a little bit of context, guys, the wind is actually at 48 miles per hour, we've just found out. So, probably the windiest you'll ever play golf in. Um, and it doesn't help that the greens are slick. So, I'd love to come and play here when it was still, you know, maybe 20 miles per hour. Cause it's bloody beautiful, but my God, this wind makes it hard. So the 15th here is a par five up the hill. It snakes left to right. There is sort of a canyon down on the right hand side, a bit of a fall off the fairway. So everything is just left. 446 yards down the wind. So just smash it up the left and hopefully get up in two close by and try and get a few shots back. I'm four over par after five holes. I've had one par, I've not lost a golf ball, and I don't feel like I've actually sprayed it that much. I think this wind is that severe that it's just causing absolute chaos. But if we can settle down and get a few pars, maybe steal a birdie here, I think a respectable number. If we break 80 around here, we've had a worldie, but let's see what we can do. That is brilliant. The wind is just pushing that. Oh my God, that's miles. I don't think that's too far away from the green, you know. I reckon I'm going to have like a hundred, maybe less. It seemed to get an extra 50, 60 out of the flight than I expected there. First time the wind's done me a favour. The um, up near the green shout was a little bit bold. We actually are only a hundred metres, 110 from the front of the green. The flag's all the way at the back, making it play 138 today. But uh, it's gone a fair old way, that drive down that wind. But let's see if we can get a wedge in close. I think it's going to be a 50 degree. Try and, try and just get something close so I don't have a, a wild putt to contend with. And then maybe, maybe, could even get the big eagle. Do a good yardage. Oh. Hello, we could have an eagle look, a very guessable eagle look, folks. Right, folks, I'm going to put it out there. If I don't walk off with a birdie here, I think I should quit the game of golf because I've only got about 15 feet. Yes, it's down the hill, but I should, should make birdie at worst. Maybe spoke a bit soon on that should be quitting golf. <laughs> and there we go, folks. Finally, redemption in the land of Portugal. We've made a birdie. We have made a birdie. <sighs> Feel drained now. Can we just 
that's it. Best course we've ever played. Most beautiful. Thanks for watching. Let's go. <laughs> I reckon, from what I hear as well, there's actually even better holes than we've seen as well. So, can't wait to see those. So our seventh hole of the day is actually the 16th and we feel like we're on top of the world here. Just look at the, the view, that is incredible. Stretches some way, the golf course is all the way out over the pines as well there I think as you go around the other side. But this one is a par three that's 125 yards going to what looks like a slither of green. The actual back tees that aren't in play today. You hit to, to a blind green there with this one. Um, so I can only imagine how difficult it is from here, but here, 125 yards, wind into off the left. It's all about just getting your clubbing right. I've got six iron. I'm just trying to keep it low, keep the spin off and just try and find the green. Right's better than left, definitely here. Oh, I've pulled it, get down, wind hit it. Not sure. Luckily, there is water hazard over there, so I can get a drop if, if not. Might have caught a bit of ground. Just flipped the face, didn't quite get my turn on that. That's annoying, because I wanted a hole in one there. Right, got our golf ball. It's not in the best situation. I reckon it's just pitched on top of them down here, but the green's all the way back up over here. Luckily, wind's... I was going to say, I thought it was into, but it's not. Hmm. Just got to splash it up and if I make a par, great. I don't think with the control that I'll have coming out of this shrubland. Look like I can get a swing. If I get this up and down, it's a worldie, but just got to thud it forwards and, and hope. I knew that was going to happen. This little fir tree has just literally caught it and knocked it sideways. That's annoying. Simmer, simmer, simmer. Oh, that looked good for so long. And the wind has just given it an extra four or five feet there. That looked very good at one point. <sighs> this is brutal. Well, not the worst bogey in the end. I can't believe I actually called that tree being an issue and then it popping it up. Who puts nice little fir trees on a golf course? Ridiculous. That, by the way, though, if that was like a still calm day, that would be a mega, mega par three. You could stand there hitting balls all day into that. Eighth hole, 350 yard par four. That is a dog leg, almost 90 degrees. The green's pretty much over the fir trees here. There's a, a bank of sand dunes you can see on the right. That's going to be my line with a little cut there because it sweeps to the right. Into the middle of the fairway up there is 295 at a point where I want to get to. But let's see if we can get a cutty driver going. Normally you'd only hit it 226 down to the corner and go across, but when you're a few over par, you play a little different. There's a great line. It was a little bit low, but I think that should be A1. That was the line I wanted. Well, we could have gone even further right because I've actually nearly run into the scrubland here. I'm 113 yards down. I reckon if I would have gone about 20, 30 yards right of where I would have been, you'd have a good chance of bouncing that up in the summer, I think. But 113, we're in a little bowl here, so we're going to try and keep it a little bit flatter so the wind doesn't affect it. The wind just essentially should be off the right here as we go through, but let's see if we can nestle in close to this pitching wedge and try and get another one back, the one that we got back and gave back very quickly. Come on, Matt, let's hit a great shot. Nice and heavy, just not caught in the branches there. Literally just on the fringe. Ah, It's hard work out here today, folks. It's hard work. 
Well, that was tripe. And a little bit of a tricky one, little knoll here to go up and then it goes down and then it goes back up, but fairly straight. Just got to pitch it, I reckon. In around here, a couple of spins and it'll release up. Why have you pushed it that far right? Come on. You got the pace right. Just that aim bit, you know, that you always go on about in your lessons. You forgot to do it, Matthew. You moron. Beginning to think I'm really bad at golf. Well, it's days like these when I am hacking it round. What makes it better is a view like that. 18th hole here, which is our ninth. Straight back down towards the Atlantic Ocean. You can't see much of the fairway. There is a bunker down there at 322 that's in line with the, the water that we see. And you play just a bit right, and then you will hit across the water from here. But what a view that is. It's spe spectacular. Nine holes here have been incredible thus far, and I can't wait to get on the back nine. Hopefully, I can actually just do it a bit of justice. It's just this wind is so hard. But anyway, driver, let's put a committed swing on it. It's a golf shot. I feel like I've sliced that. That wind <laughs> is very strong because it's about a four yard draw, but I think that was a 20 or 30 yard slice in normality. Well, I thought I was going to be having about a, a nine iron in. I've only got 170, I've got five iron, it's downhill, that water's coming into play, left to the miss here, luckily the wind's obviously moving it to the left anyway, so we can go pretty much at the heart of the green here, and just hopefully get it on board, Bill. what a view, what a shot this is going to be, I'll tell you what, if this was the final hole of the tournament, it'd be a, a great test with the pin back right, luckily it's front left for me today, they've been kind How have I just nutted that 200 into the wind? Oh, that is such a good shot. That is so annoying. I've just flighted it through all that hurricane force wind. I literally thought it's going to be perfect and now I'm in the absolute wasteland at the back. Fantastic. Do you know when golf really wants to kick you in the tee? Today is one of those days. Well, just uh, 30 yards through the back, 200 yards. It's one of those days, one of those days, but I'm enjoying it, supposedly. It's beautiful though, but if I can just maybe hack this down, I've obviously got the water to contend with, but get it down, see what we can do. Bogey's a good score. Shank. Cheers. Love it, love it. Nut driver, nut five iron, shank. Sit. You know what's great about this round of golf? Don't feel like I've sprayed it. I would have sliced it everywhere, I would have been happy. Ridiculous. In the wind. Right, that was the best double I've ever made to finish the nine, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very happy with that. Very. So nine holes done there. Not the scoring I wanted, but I've never, never faced wind like that. It's actually died down a tiny bit on this first tee as we stand here now, which is our 10th hole. We are a little bit more sort of not 
out on the coast as much or a little bit guarded here. I think my aim now, if I could shoot three over par for these nine holes, I'll be happy. I don't feel like I hit it too bad actually during those. It was just that condition actually, getting the ball A up to the flag and then leaving myself in some dodgy places on the greens. You've got to not only get it right next to the flag, but then you've got that to contend with when you've got all the slopes on the greens. But three over is the goal here for this new nine. The par four first hole, which is our 10th, is 350 yards straight down. Wind is down off the left, so I'm just going to hit a cutty one down there. There are some bunkers at 292, but if I go up to them, it's only a little flick on, so not the end of the world. Let's see if we can change our look and get a bit better and control this ball a bit more in the wind. Stay on that right edge of the green. I think it's got the trap. It was right in line with the green side bunker, but I didn't see a bounce. It's fairway, but that's, I think, pretty much where the trap's gonna be, but I knew that, so we're okay. Looks good. That is the start we want to the first hole. A little bit of fortune coming out of the bunker with the driver, but then a little wedge up close and a tapping birdie. More of that to come. Hole 12 for us today is a par three, 137 yards down the hill. It's uh, wind whipping across from the right here. So everything again, is just about controlling that flight. Some lovely uh, villas in the background of the building, some just down here as well. You might hear about that noise, so excuse that, but a little bit more uh, down here. Looks a little bit more rugged, I would say. Not as pine swept this nine, I would, it feels like, but gonna go six iron and just try and keep it flat and get it on this green. Leave it wind. Oh, played that so well. That bunker at the back. It's either gone in the bunker or gone over it. I've absolutely nutted that through the wind again. It's twice that's happened where I thought I've hit the perfect shot and it's just gone through it. So hit six iron, 137 down the hill, 134, whatever it was. I know it sounds like a lot of club, but uh, with the wind the way it's been today, I thought it was actually just going to kill it and, and drop it. But actually it's flown the bunker, which I thought it was in. And actually now we find ourselves red staked area. It's carried all the way into there. So penalty drop now, which is annoying because after that birdie, I thought we were on the right track, but little drop. And there, now I'm playing my third over the trap into a, another undulating green. So let's see what we can do here. A little bit bold, a little bit frisky with that pitch. This for our bogey then. Feeling a little hard done by today. Stay up. No. <sighs> well, it's a double. Another double where I've actually not slapped it annoys me golf sometimes like this when you actually hit nice shots where you think you're doing everything right and then it just doesn't go your way i would have rather have shanked it into the trees taken three off the tee and made five as opposed to nutting an iron and then that happening but that's the game that's what you've got to contend with folks beautiful game i think i might take up chess i don't think mind well, you i'll be rubbish at chess so this hole, which is actually our 12th, not the previous one, the third hole here, is 400 yards, stroke one, water all the way down the right, bunkers all sort of scrubland all down the right, and then a fairway bunker up in the distance. That's 265 to get to. It is into the wind. There is OB down the left as well. So I think I'm just going to aim at that, try and hit a little cut and keep it somewhere in play, hopefully from there straight into so it's going to be playing a hell of a way that bunker's probably about 320 to get to today with this wind so 
I can give it pretty much all we've got and we're not getting there. Get down. Just pitched up on the left on the hill. I think I've got about 250 left to go in there. We've got a bit of a way here, 100, 170 yards to the flag. It's blind, I'm going over the outer bounds and um, over the bunker to a green that looks small. Looks like there's a lot of trouble right. So I've got to just keep it left of the road, basically. Coming off the sandy stuff, so I've got to get the strike right as well. Let's roll the dice. There's no let up round here. Don't feel like I've had a hole where I can breathe yet. Straight. Perfect yardage, just a terrible push. I've pushed it 30 yards right, it feels like, from there. Sorry, folks. Thought I was going to side door it then. Well, it's another bogey, folks. Welcome to the bogey show where I don't generally hit bad golf shots, but just can't score for toppy. The fourth hole, which is playing as our 13th today, is 400 yards up the hill, normally off the back tees. There's a 200 yard carry to get over everything. We've got um, 300 yards up to the bunkers on the right that you might be able to just make out on the camera poking up above this other scrub land to get to, but it's just a, a cut up the middle. And see if we can do something from there. This actually feels like a normal level of wind here. I mean, it's high wind, but it's copable. I mean, the flag looks like it's gonna come out of the hole any minute, but this feels like a normal, normal golfing condition. Straight down the button, baby. I've hit some great shots today. I'm sort of baffled how I'm 10 over par. Think the wind being 50 miles per hour has something to do with it. Get in. I actually only had 50 yards into that flag and I've missed the green, pitched it close, but severe downwind. There's just no like, easy par, it feels like, today because of this wind. Like there, I've knocked it 350 up the hill, but then the pitch was hard. And now I'm hopefully going to escape with a par. Sit. It's a tap in, pretty much. Yay! Rejoice! It's a par. That is the great hole. The view is incredible when you do look back down. You start to see the ocean again from this side, but whew, it's just so hard to. I don't know. I think that this is the the windiest I've ever played golf in. It's just such a skill, and I've got almost like a newfound respect for tour pros that travel to different places all the time, play different types of golf, and then have to deal with stuff like this because the way they control the ball in the wind is incredible versus me, who's just slapping it around. Right, the par five, which is the fifth, but our 14th is 157 yards today. With the slope, that's 156. It's a green that's sort of tilted from top to bottom, so front to back. Um, going downhill, if you catch the wrong side, everything pushes right to left. Looks very slopey, 157 into wind now. I've got no faith in controlling the ball with the wind. 157 is normally an eight iron. It's into, I'm gonna hit a five iron flat because the front of the green's actually 18 yards short of where the flag is, so that's 140. This goes 200, theoretically I should get there, 
I'm going to keep it low. I'm probably just going to fly it to the back of the green. Let's see what happens. Just a little bit left of the stick. Get up. Well, that pretty much did what it should have. It's pin highish, just just on the fringe, just near the trap. Hey, hey, we could turn it round, it, folks. Could be eleven over par at the end. We're pretty much pin high. If anyone is wondering, by the way, what this white stuff is on the greens, they've just watered them and it's a fertilizer, so it will soak through. Some green. This, if that pins up on the front there, and then running down. Crikey, luckily we've actually got pin high. I'm sort of pitching straight into the wind. I need to land this over here and just let it skid up. Don't want to say it, but these last few holes that I've played, two, the last two, have almost resembled golf. I've almost been a golfer. Tried missing. <laughs> Tried missing. Little cheeky par there. That's two in a... Nearly got done by the flag. Two in a row. And now we're going to start to get real views of the Atlantic again. You see everything coming around here. You get a real linksy sort of vibe as you go through these next few, which is going to be good. Let's see if we can uh, keep going and get that second nine target. I feel a bit more... A tease. The wind's dropping a little bit. It's only 48 miles an hour now. So we should be okay. So our 15th hole is the 6th hole today. It's a par 5 straight up the hill. 530 yards. There's a bunker at 250 yards to get over up on the left. Interestingly, I've actually just had a look at the green fees here. And it's very, very reasonable. For this being probably one of the most beautiful courses I've played. It's only... 120 euros for a green fee which is about 110 pounds maybe about what one 140 dollars 150 dollars unbelievably reasonable because conditions mega the golf course is amazing the views are beautiful absolute steal at that price but let's see if we can sneak another birdie up here A fairway or just running off into the semi but it's down there we should have a go at the green in two, two. fairway successfully found 210 yards up to the flag it is very much downwind par five remember but i'm going in with six iron so try and get it up let the wind push it and see if we can get up onto the green and have an eagle chance I think it's going to be left, right. Just got to pitch it into the uh, the foamy fertilizer. One bounce and it should go in from here. This green about two minutes ago was completely white with all the fertilizer and it drains in so quickly. It's amazing, really. That would have been a nice eagle, a little dunk, a little dunk. Just missed the white foam of destiny there to get it in. There's been moments of greatness throughout this round. There's also been moments of complete mind melt. But uh, one thing that has been a consistent is the unbelievable views. Look at that, just bowing around the coast. Waves crashing in. I think this could be one of the best golf courses I've ever played, I think. Even though I'm hacking it round and my score's terrible, every hole is just incredible. I'd love to come back and play it when it was like a 15, 20 mile per hour wind. I think it's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. The uh, 16th hole for us today being the 7th is another par 5, 570 back into the wind now. And like Pine Valley, it's got a, 
like a scraped land bunker in the middle of the uh, the hole called the uh, Hell's Half Acre. It's, I think about 300 yards, 315 to get to it from this tee. So it won't be an issue, but it's down in the bottom when you get there. It's gonna be a hell of a way. We can see the flag up in the distance. That looks about 900 yards away, but let's see what we can do. See if we can get back to back birdies. That would be incredible. Well, folks, two fairways in a row. Who would have thought it from Matthew Fryer, professional chopper? Right, a good drive finds the fairway. Still leaves me 322 yards to go. We're going to go driver off the deck because it's a nice little uh, bushy fairway or cushioned fairway, so it's sort of sat up nicely. If I can just get a good one of these, I'll still have 150 left in. Right, it's dead. It's very dead. I'm going to have to take a provisional because that is very dead. Too slicey. Too slicey. We might find it on another hole, but who knows? Forgot about the wind on that one. That's more like it. God, even the wind's got that. That's not too far away from being up there. That was a great shot. Shame we didn't do that first time. So this is the Hell's Half Acre here. It starts from back up there and it's just a load of scrub land that you would find yourself in there. So I would say probably as a layup, it's one that questions you, do you go before it or do you go over it? But you probably want to always try and get over that. Well, um, after another driver, I've still got 87 yards up to the flag. Just goes to show how strong that wind is today. So I'm going to hit a, a pitching wedge pretty much three quarters flat and try and keep it in tapping range for a cheeky bogey. Cheeky. Go on, wind, knock it round. Wind. Nothing. Never an easy putt here at Westcliffs. Up the slope, then a little bit down, a little bit grainy, a little bit wainy, a little bit work, a little bit way. Sit. Stop it, wind. Stop it. That stopped about three minutes ago. That actually ran out of pace about there then the wind picked it up that's mad well a quick double with a lost ball i think score's really irrelevant now don't think we're going to get in the red at this point anyway ah oh, what a day though what a gorgeous day to be out here being blown to oblivion but having absolutely gorgeous sights to top it off with so the eighth here, our 17th hole. Beautiful view down the uh, the coastline there. Those waves just look, just look mega. Just crashing in there. I should have brought my surfboard. Not that I've ever surfed before. But there is a bunker at 264 just down on the corner. It requires quite a long carry if you were to go sort of try and cut the corner off here, or you can play out to the right-hand side and the fairway is a little bit more reachable there. But if you do get one away down there, it will only leave a little flick because the hole's about three, 350, I think it was. Um, just try and get it in the fairway here and just, just enjoy that view more than anything, really, is my main aim. That'll do. That's literally carried, I want to say, 210 in the air. 210 maybe and it was like a little toey strike so it would have would have got if there was no wind that was going in this wind 210 love it we are hitting straight into the jaws of the atlantic here 
in any other circumstance this would be a flick with a 50 degree because it's only 118 yards six iron off a little up slope and the ball's going to go up so i've got to try and knock it low take a bit of spin off it to try and get it on there different type of golf this Leave it, wind. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. It looked very good for a long time, and then the wind's just pushed it a little left. I don't even know if that's actually got up onto the green, you know. I think it might be short. <laughs> short with a six iron from 118. Just your normal conditions, everybody. Right, just a little bit shy of pin high. The wind that we felt back there felt strong. This is like knocking me off balance as I'm stood here. I've actually got only about seven yards, I reckon, to the, uh, to the green, and I'm actually contemplating how much the wind is gonna move this chip. So I'll go about three feet left of the flag, and I guarantee it will fade back to it. Nearly a chip in. Can't pick my putter up. That was lovely down there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Wow, look at the tee on the next. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. <sighs> Little par. Hot streak. Let's go. Final hole. What a view. So our final hole here, the ninth, is a fun hole, this one. You would probably normally want to go out to the right with maybe, for me, would be about a six iron, five iron, and then just chip down across. But the green's 290 yards, just over the, um, over the line of um, bushes here. There's some bunkers front right and a bunker at the back. So with it being downwind, just hit a three wood with a bit of a high cut and we'll, we'll be up over there somewhere anyway. So let's see. We can finish in style and icy eagles would be uh, would be what we want but just uh, before we do that just look at the what size of the wave coming in there that is massive that's like a good 10 15 foot if not bigger there it's probably like a 20 foot wave crazy anyway let's hit a great shot hole in one down here over the bushes with a little cut That is a perfect line. It's probably going to be front right of the green. Just seeing it bounce. Well, it might run up into the other. Might have run into the bunker up on the right of the green, but nutted it, so I'm happy. Just as cold, we find ourselves just right of the trap. It's actually pitched in the fairway there. The, bunk, the green, sorry, is probably another 20 yards left. You can see straight back over the fountain pretty much about five yards right is where the tee actually is on this hole really fun little risk and reward hole that but pitch up now let's finish in style with a little birdie little birdie told me this could be a chipping see what we can do go on break to the right slow down stop do anything for them. okay nearly off the back of the green all right a little uphill left or right to finish the day off in style and it just slithers by well it's a par to finish with 10 over in the end probably the best 10 over i will ever shoot in my life that though has definitely gone down west cliffs as one of my favorite golf courses i've ever played i know the score doesn't show that but the actual layout of it the condition everything about it the views incredible thank you for having us out here guys it has been truly truly an honor and i definitely want to come back when it's not a 50 mile per hour wind if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the last episode of In The Red, where hopefully 
I get somewhere near breaking 80. Who knows? 